All right. So, it's Adam from Burble Guitars, and I'm here with you with the Cigar Box Guitar Builder. This is an old, very old, uh, Monte Cristo Cigar Box, which uh, was basically covered in a whole heap of yuck. And I've removed and sanded off the all the paper. And I'm basically just reinforcing it now. So, the idea of this exercise is to show you how easy it is to build a diddly boat. I'm hoping this is going to inspire you guys to pick up your tools and go and build something and have a bit of fun with it. All right, this. This is the timber I'm going to use. It's a groovy piece of cedar. Now, I'm doing this really, really rusty. Now you can see with this timber, this is very, very old. I think it's off an old wardrobe or something. Um, there's splits and breaks and all that sort of stuff. So I'm not going to make a three string. I've got to hand sand it. I'm hand sanding it, but I'm actually doing it really, really rustic. I'm not going to be using a fretboard on this. This is going to be fretless. Uh, down here is going to be an electric pickup. All right, so this is how I'm going to be doing my dot markers. So we've got... 650 millimeters, which is 25 and a half inch scale length from the nut here, all the way down to here, which is where the bridge is going to go. In between here, this is fair game. So this is somewhere in here is gonna be the pickup. Whether it's a flat pickup or whether it's uh, um, another pickup, I'm not sure. Only issue is if it's going to come into the body, I'm using a narrow box and this is cedar. It's not as strong as oak. It's not as strong as uh, the timbers like maple or elder um, or poplar, sorry. Um, so I'm going to be careful about what I do here, but I'll figure it out. Okay, so this is basically, this is how I'm going to put the markings in. There you go. How's that for rough? And I want something really rustic to go along with this timber, which is old and beaten up. And this is the 12th. I'm going to put these in. I'm not, uh, just, I've measured where the frets would be. But I am just... And I'll hammer these in once I put the... Once I put the camera down. Just to make it a bit deeper. Hit it with a hammer. All right. Now, I'm going to be drilling the two strings. This is the point of no return. Well, actually, I've just drilled those in. So you can see this is kind of rough, okay? I'm, I'm not doing a lot of measuring with this. My, having said that, I've been doing this for a very long time. So I'm entitled to make a lot of mistakes. Like running out of battery power. There you go. And these are for the rivets that I'm gonna put in. So, some rivets what i'm doing right now this is what inspires me this is what gives me different ideas different thoughts different directions on place on, on where to go with future builds so i have to do these um it's the artiste well well bs aside you know if you're gonna do this you're a craftsman but here you go you can see what i'm doing and how i did that Alright, so for the back there. Just open that up. So doing this one-handed here. Popping those in. Now I'm gonna pop oil on this. And I've got the glue drying. Now seriously guys, this is this is this is actual. This is not frou-frou cigar box guitars, man. This is this is about as real at building a cigar box guitar as you can possibly get. See, look at the neck. All I've done, see all of this nasty stuff here, which was gonna cut my hands, cut my hands to pieces there. I may have to gouge that out a little bit more and get rid of that that crack, but I might just stick a screw in there, you know. <laughs> if this is this 
this is the this is the heart of building cigar box guitars finding a piece of timber which would otherwise be burnt go back into the carbon cycle you know go back into the earth this is this is, or what are you going to do with it use it create something i'm going to create something musical out of this man it's going to blow your freaking mind it's all good fun spins all right tongue oil all right you'll notice that i've left the top All gungy. Yeah. It's, but it can't, look, at the, look at the stain on that. It just comes out so beautifully. All right. So what I've done here is I've cut a bit of rosewood and I'm putting in a fret. This is actually gonna be the nut. Okay. Eight years of building cigar box guitars. I've never done this before. And this is why I love doing this stuff. Because I'm trying something different. I'm giving something a go. There you go. This, these basically, sorry, just to show you. These are my fretting tools for cigar box guitars. Standard, lightweight hammer, pair of pliers, sandpaper. And files, things like this little file, which I've rounded the end off, but going around, this is, this is the, this is the trip, man, you don't need fancy, fancy tools to build a cigar box guitar, I mean, shit, man, look at my desk, I've gone hellbent for leather this week, I'm, I'm absolutely going crazy with builds at the moment, so it's obviously a little difficult to stay tidy, but I'm doing my best, the pickup that I'm going to be using is a flat wound pickup from uh, Mark at CBG Emporium here in Australia. Um, what I've done is I've actually wrapped it in the, the inside paper from um, a Monte Cristo box. I'm excited about how this might turn out. So there's your positive and your, ne your positive on the red and the negative and the earth. Um, connected there so that's ready basically ready to go you notice I've done the the marks on the side there in the same way that's the nut in place just super glued in place ready to go so it's going to be that twin octave of the uh, the two E's and she's all oil, oiled up and basically it's we're almost ready to install it into the into the uh into the box all right rock on now we're here to the fun bit <laughs> we're notching out the uh the box that's got the braces on the inside i've pre-drilled the top that's where the, the screws are going to go to hold everything in place i try not ever to glue the boxes together um i'm leaving this tape on because that's part of how the guitar was put together. We've got the nails still in there, in the corners. It's gonna be for volume control. And that's the output jack in the back. Um, the pickup is glued in place. Got a sound hole cover there. You see this, obviously no fretboard. You know, this is what building cigar box guitars is all about. Just doing something really just nuts. Um, this is my favorite part of the whole thing. And the, the neck, I can't wait to finish it and play it. Okay. So this is the finished beast. All right, so you've got two strings, both tuned to G. All right, there's the pickup. <laughs>
something like this is loads of fun. Um, I don't often get a chance to just do something a bit weird and a bit crazy and a bit nutso, um, you know, but this is how I started building cigar box guitars. Um, you know, obviously the guitars that I build nowadays, I'm doing a, a lot more kind of what you might consider to be high end, you know, um, very clean finishes, that type of thing. Uh, whereas I just, I, I love this. This is where my heart lies with this, you know, with this type of instrument with rattles and bumps and, and clicks and dings. And this is the kind of thing that this is where my heart lies right here. You know, I'm going to be doing a lot more of this kind of stuff. This is, this is just too much fun. Get out there and build a guitar, guys. Have fun.